After 40 a woman has to choose between losing her figure or her face. My advice is to keep your face, and stay sitting down. Among men, sex sometimes results in intimacy, among women, intimacy sometimes results in sex. I always wear boot polish on my eyelashes, because I am a very emotional person and it doesn't run when I cry. You become what you think. You are what you eat. My heroines are always virgins. They never go to bed without a ring on their fingers, not until page 118 at least. When you get past 50, you have to decide whether to keep your face or your figure. I kept my face. A woman asking am I good? Am I satisfied? Is extremely selfish. The less women fuss about themselves, the less they talk to other women, the more they try to please their husbands, the happier the marriage is going to be. Good must triumph over evil. It usually does in life and in any case it's bad for young people to believe it doesn't. I consider myself an expert on love, sex, and health. Without health you can have very little of the other two. I'll keep going till my face falls off. Every woman dreams of love. When she is young she prays she will find it. When she is middle-aged she hopes for it and when she is old she remembers it. I would love to employ a man, but how can I possibly give a man dictation from the bath? A woman should say, have I made him happy? Is he satisfied? Does he love me more than he loved me before? Is he likely to go to bed with another woman? If he does, then it's the wife's fault because she is not trying to make him happy. The right diet directs sexual energy into the parts that matter. A historical romance is the only kind of book where chastity really counts. Love is next to godliness with certain safeguards. People don't roll around naked in my books. I do allow them to go to bed if they're married, but it's all very wonderful and the moon beams. I have always found women difficult. I don't really understand them. To begin with, few women tell the truth. To sleep around is absolutely wrong for a woman, it's degrading and it completely ruins her personality.
sooner or later it will destroy all that is feminine and beautiful and idealistic in her. The great majority of people in England and America are modest, decent, and pure-minded and the amount of virgins in the world today is stupendous.